good morning friends so in last lecture you know about the introduction about the topic solution so this is my second lecture on the same topic solutions okay so in this lecture we have to cover the next point that is the capacity of solution to dissolve solute capacity of solution to dissolve solute capacity of solution to dissolve solute so in this point we have to discuss the capacity of solution means how much solute is accommodated in given solution so simply uh, this point can be explained directly by taking a simple example consider a 100 ml of water consider a 100 ml of water and if you consider add as a solvent as a solvent and if you're going to add sugar as a solute in this water if you want to add sugar as a solute in this water if you add first only one crystal of sugar just imagine the small crystal of like this there is a very small crystal of sugar is there if you add only one single crystal of sugar in this 100 ml of water what happens the added sugar crystal dissolves easily just one uh, stir uh, readily it dissolves readily in that 100 ml of solvent so such a type of solution where the added solute dissolves readily in given solvent such solution is called as a unsaturated solution unsaturated solution so unsaturated solution means the solution in which the added solute dissolves readily to form solution जाशा सोल्यूशन मध्ये किंवा सॉल्वेंट मध्ये जर एखादा सोल्यूट ऍड केला तर तो ऍड केलेला सोल्यूट रेडीली त्याच्यामध्ये डिसॉल्व होतो त्याला म्हणायचं अनसॅच्युरेटेड सोल्यूशन ही झाली फर्स्ट स्टेज ए स्टेज ह्यालाच आपण पुढे जर कंटिन्यू केलं ठीक आहे अँड इफ यू ऍड वन मोर क्रिस्टल ऑफ शुगर इन द सेम सोल्यूशन अँड गोइंग ऑन ऍडिंग वन मोर क्रिस्टल वन मोर क्रिस्टल सो ऑन इफ यू गोइंग मोर अँड मोर अमाउंट ऑफ शुगर इन 100 ml ऑफ वॉटर then one stage is reached one stage is reached where the process of process of dissolution dissolution and crystallization crystallization these both processes are at equilibrium these both processes are at equilibrium one and when such a process is attained or when equilibrium stage is attained such a solution is called as saturated solution such a solution is called as saturated solution so simply saturated solution can be explained how if you consider solute plus solvent what happens in forward direction it is solution is formed solution is formed in forward direction means सोल्यूट मध्ये सॉल्वंट मध्ये जर सोल्यूट ऍड केलं तर त्यापासून सोल्युशन तयार होणार आहे म्हणजे सोल्यूट जो आहे हा सॉल्वंट मध्ये काय होणार पूर्णपणे डिझॉल्व होणार दॅट प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड ऍज अन डिझॉल्युशन प्रोसेस डिझॉल्युशन प्रोसेस इज इट अँड इफ यू कन्सिडर रिव्हर्स प्रोसेस रिव्हर्स प्रोसेस मीन्स सोल्युशन जे आहे त्या सोल्युशन मधून सोल्यूट वेगळा होतोय सेपरेट होतोय रिक्रिस्टलाइज होतोय सच प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड ऍज अन क्रिस्टलायझेशन प्रोसेस crystallization process such a process is called as a crystallization process and when these two processes are at equilibrium kon kon the dissolution and crystallization he doni process ja vela equilibrium madhe etil he doni process ja vela sign symbol dakhola hai equilibrium madhe etil tya vela na solution je asnar hai te konta asnar hai saturated solution asnar hai so this is the second b case this is the b case in c case if you again continue still still if you are add some more amount of sugar in same 100 ml of water then what happens what happens the stage is reached that stage is called as an super saturated super saturated solution 
and super saturated solution means the solution in which there is a much more or excess amount of excess amount of solute is there excess amount of solute is there means in super saturated if this equilibrium consider this equilibrium solute plus solvent gives solutions means in saturated solution solute solvent and solution he tini kashe equilibrium madhe arun dakhavlele hai jar hyacha madhe tumhi extra solute add kela extra solute ऐड के ऐड के लिए सोल्यूट जे है ऐड के लिए सोल्यूट ये क्या होना है डिजॉल्व होना नहीं है तो वॉटर मे तो सोल्यूशन डिजॉल्व होना है एंड इट सेटल्स ऐट द बॉटम इन द फॉर्म ऑफ पार्टिकल्स इन द फॉर्म ऑफ पार्टिकल्स ठीक है ऐड के लिए सोल्यूट जे है तो डिजॉल्व होना है होना नहीं है एंड बॉटम मे पार्टिक कंटेनर बॉटमला है तसच सेटल डाउन होना है सो दीज आर द थ्री केसेस दैट इज अनसैचुरेटेड सोल्यूशन सैचुरेटेड सोल्यूशन एंड लास्ट वन दैट इज द सुपर सैचुरेटेड सोल्यूशन सुपर सैचुरेटेड सोल्यूशन ठीक है देन नेक्स्ट पॉइंट वाय टू डिस्कस दैट इज द सोल्युबिलिटी 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 नेक्स्ट पॉइंट सोल्युबिलिटी वॉट इज वॉट इंडिकेट्स और वॉट इज मेन बाय सोल्युबिलिटी सो सोल्युबिलिटी इज द सिंपली we consider that maximum amount of solute maximum amount of solute that can be dissolved in given amount of solvent maximum amount of solute that can be dissolved in given amount of solvent at given temperature at given temperature temperature constant asthana सॉलवंट प्रमाण जे है अमाउंट जे है सॉलवंट अमाउंट पे फिक्स आता है तेजे मैक्सिम कि सोल्यूट तुम्हें डिजॉल्व करू शता है दैट इज नथिंग बट सोल्यूट ऑफ दैट पर्टिक्युलर सोल्यूट दैट इज अ सोल्यूट ऑफ दैट पर्टिक्युलर सोल्यूट ठीक है दैट कैन बी एक्सप्रेसड इन ग्राम पर लीटर और मोल मोल्स पर लीटर सिंपली और ग्राम पर लीटर और मोल्स पर लीटर एस एक्सप्लेन कर फॉर एक्जाम्पल इफ यू कन्सिडर वन एक्जाम्पल जस्ट टेक टू ग्राम of NaCl, NaCl, it is the 100 ml of water, 100 ml of water. मंजे इस आदत का है, शंभर ml पानी हमारे जस्ती जस्त दो ग्राम NaCl पूर्व बने डिजॉल्व हो सकता है at given temperature, at given temperature constant वाइज मात्र, ठीक है? So this is simply way to express the solubility either in gram per liter or moles per liter, gram per liter or moles per liter, ठीक है? And you may in eleventh standard Eleventh standard, you have to study it. That is the terms, terms to express, terms to express the different terms to express the concentration. That is the uh, percent by weight, percent by volume, molality, molarity, isn't it? Mole fraction, all these terms you have already studied one, isn't it? Then, after uh, defining solubility, you have to consider the next. Um, that is the Factors affecting solubility. Factors affecting solubility. That is the factors. Factors affecting solubility. Solubility. Factors affecting solubility. कौन कौन त्या factors वर्ती solubility आउट दम्बन उसने रहे. ठीक है. Factors affecting solubility. So there are different factors which affects the solubility isn't it solubility so first factor we have to consider that is the nature of nature of solute and solvent nature of solute and solvent j solute and solvent sa pair hai jancha pasun tumhi solution banunar hai to sagat mahatva sa pair hai that first determines the extent of solubility of solute and solvent so how simply this nature of solute and solvent this factor can be explained by taking simple example that is like dissolves like like dissolves like like dissolves like here simple eka word sentence varun apan sangu shakto ki solubility like dissolves like what indicates that polar solute polar solute readily dissolves in polar solvent polar solute readily dissolves in polar solvent in example sometimes for example if you consider nacl 
NaCl it dissolves in water it dissolves in water both are polar okay next that is a non polar solute non polar solute readily dissolves in non polar solvent non polar solute readily dissolves in non polar solvent for example if you consider the naphthalene for example if you consider naphthalene it is non polar it readily dissolves in benzene it readily dissolves in benzene which is non polar which is non polar so this is the general uh, trick to uh, find out the solubility of solute in given solvent one but actually it is not applicable for all the cases one some exceptions are also there for example if you consider the sugar if you consider sugar sugar is readily dissolves in water sugar readily dissolves in water then water is polar water is polar but sugar is non polar sugar is non polar so this like dissolves like is not applicable here one like dissolves like is not applicable here so along with this concept that is polar solute polar solvent non polar solute non polar solvent some extra factors are also responsible that is the uh, intermolecular interactions inter molecular interactions and in that intermolecular interactions in the above case that is sugar and water pair the that solubility is extended on the basis of the hydrogen bonding on the basis of hydrogen bonding on the basis of hydrogen bonding so here this is not applicable in that case hydrogen bonding or types of interactions again you all studied in 11th standard that is a dipole dipole interaction ion dipole interaction dipole induced or dipole interactions okay that is the london forces dispersion forces okay all these are responsible for the uh, nature of solute and solvent that is the factors so first factor that affects the solubility is the nature of solute and solvent okay the next second factor that is the responsible is the uh, effect of effect of temperature effect of temperature so what is the effect of temperature so this effect of temperature can be best explained by the concept of le chatelier's principle by the concept that is the le chatelier's principle by the le chatelier's principles le chatelier's principles you may study it in the 11th standard isn't it le chatelier's principle one samjha apna effect of temperature explain kare se so it can be simply explained if you consider the dissolution of potassium chloride in water it is endothermic process that is the dissolution of potassium chloride in water water h2 if you consider it is endothermic process it is endothermic process i think it may be plus 17.4 kilo joule per mole this much amount of heat energy this much amount of heat energy is absorbed during dissolution of potassium chloride one mole of potassium chloride in water okay so this endothermic process means if this dissolution process is endothermic if it is endothermic one then for the dissolution process purpose what is necessary that is heat energy must be supplied heat energy must be supplied okay so potassium chloride readily dissolves in water if you increase the temperature of solution if you increase the temperature of solution it readily dissolves kcl in water kcl in water but at the same time if you consider calcium chloride calcium chloride in water dissolution of calcium chloride in water then in that case it is exothermic process it is exothermic process means heat energy is released here absorbed heat energy is released released okay so in that case in that case according to le chatelier's principle if already heat is released then forward process or direction is favorable by decrease of temperature by decrease of temperature means solubility increases solubility increases with decrease of temperature a decrease of temperature but there is a still if you relate the solubility with endothermic exothermic and le chatelier's principle but there are again some exceptions are there again there are some exceptions are there Uh, and according to that there is no direct consequence on the uh, solubility and endothermicity and exothermicity means there is no direct 
डायरेक्ट रिलेशनशिप रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन सोल्यूबिलिटी ऑफ सोल्यूट एंड एक्जो थर्मी सिटी और एंडोथर्मी सिटी एंड एंडोथर्मी सिटी मीन्स वी डोंट सी इन दैट लाइक दिस वन इफ यू फॉर द के सी एल टेम्परेचर इंक्रीजेस सोल्यूशन सोलिबिलिटी इंक्रीजेस फॉर कैल्शियम क्लोराइड टेम्परेचर डिक्रीजेस सोलिबिलिटी इंक्रीजेस बट डायरेक्ट कॉन्सिक्वेंस इज दैट मोस्टली ऑलमोस्ट फॉर जनरली ऑल सोल्यूट इफ यू इंक्रीज द टेम्परेचर इफ यू इंक्रीज द टेम्परेचर डेफिनेटली सोलिबिलिटी इंक्रीजेस इन मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेस इन मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेस दिस इज ट्रू इंक्रीज द टेम्परेचर सोलिबिलिटी इंक्रीजेस बट देर आर स्टिल सम एक्सप्लेनेशन एंड इन यूर बुक टेक्सट बुक दैट इज द Uh, one graph is there hmm? graph is there just you try to remember uh, that graph for 2 to 3 solute only not for all just on x axis on x axis it is given uh, temperature in degree celsius and on y axis it is given that is the solubility of solubility of solute in gram per 100 grams of solvent solubility of gram per 100 grams of solvent like graph is there one and first graph is that for potassium nitrate straightly increases potassium potassium nitrate where there is effect of increase of temperature it is solubility of that potassium nitrate per 100 gram of solvent shows it steadily increases isn't it there is a much more effect of temperature on the solubility of potassium nitrate but as far as sodium nitrate is considered the effect is Uh, less than that of the sodium nitrate potassium nitrate for sodium nitrate for sodium nitrate for kbr it is very small effect for potassium bromide and for other solutes are also given just try to remember two to three solutes one okay then uh, next point that is we have to consider that is the effect of effect of pressure on solubility of solute okay effect of pressure so effect of pressure that can be explained we have to study in the next lecture in the terms of henry's law in terms of henry's law okay okay thanks